Hello everybody, I am Guides for Us All and welcome to my speed run to Zolra from scratch. As you can see here, we have a fresh account straight off Tutorial Island and the goal of this series is going to be to get to Zolra and kill it in the shortest amount of time possible with this brand new account. So I'm here with my other accounts and I'm going to give this one an old school bond and so we're going to have 14 days to get to Zolra and kill it. This account will not be limited in any way, as you can see it's not an Iron Man, so I'll be able to buy all the stuff that we we need off of the Grand Exchange, although I will not be transferring any money from my main account, I will be making all the money on this account, and the reason I wanted to do this series is to see exactly how difficult it is to get to Zolra and kill it on a brand new account, as Zolra is one of the best money makers in the game and is a very, very consistently profitable boss to kill. So the first step, as with any new account, head to the stronghold of security and claim that first free 10,000 gold, which is going to prove to be super useful, but we're going to need a lot more money than this, so let's head over to the Grand Exchange and my method that I'm going to do is to buy at least a thousand flax and we're going to head back to Lumbridge and spin that all into bowstring. I might actually have to get some crafting levels to do that. Yeah, I'm going to have to get to 10 crafting, so let's do some quests first. Alright, here we go. The murder mystery quest is complete. 1400 crafting experience which gets us up to level 11 perfect now we can spin that bowstring and I bought a Varrock teleport uh, to get us back I also bought a Camelot teleport to get to Camelot much more quickly I definitely recommend that over teleporting to Castle Wars or uh, running that's terrible all right 1,000 flax cost me 4,000 gold so let's go spin this all at the Lumbridge spinning wheel and see how much GP we get back for the bowstrings all right we just finished up making all of that bowstring and it took exactly 45 minutes to finish it up so now that we have this let's head back to the GE and sell it oh I totally forgot to buy a Varrock tab Looks like we're walking. Alright, the bowstring is sold, and we made ourselves a clean 156k. So in 45 minutes, we profited about 150,000 gold, which means that spending the bowstring is about 200,000 gold per hour, which is really good for the requirements that you need. And, you know, at first I was just going to spend this and then start my training. But what I think I'm going to do actually is spend a couple more hours spinning that bowstring because I really want to just knock out 45 prayer, which is the level I need to use both uh, Mystic Might and Eagle Eye, which I'm going to need for later on. And with both of those, it'll actually help me train my magic and ranged more quickly. This might be a bad decision. It might be better to train uh, my magic and ranged up so that I can do a better money maker, but I don't know. I'm actually happy with just 1500 bowstring done let's just instant sell them and see how much cash we have overall 235k from those and the 150k from earlier and we have just under 400,000 gold which is not enough to get us to the exact prayer level that I want but I think I might just use a decent bit of this to get my prayer up to well wherever we can get it to honestly and then we're gonna start training our magic to try out another money maker which I'm not sure if it'll pan out or not but we'll find out so the reason I want to do this at such a low level is because as many of you know the temple is quite deep in the wilderness and a lot of people PK there but most people aren't going to be able to attack a level 3 doing the prayer training. Now, of course, I will get a lot of combat levels while doing this, but I really doubt that there's going to be any, like, super low-level peers PKing here, because honestly, the money you get from PKing at the Chaos Altar is not great, because there's a method that a ton of Iron Men use to uh, make it so that even when you die, you don't really lose any money. And I'll show that to you guys here in a second, but first, I want to see how many levels we're going to gain just by starting to use these D-Bones on the Altar. Like, it's going to be insane. Let's see what one bone gets us. Three prayer... Go ahead and use another. There's five prayer. Like, this is just amazing. <laughs> what I tell you, dude? Level 91 logs in to try and kill me. He clicks on me. Aw, oh, dude. You didn't realize what combat level I was, bro. Better log on the other account. All right, we're done with the first inventory, and we got up to 29 prayer in the span of, like, I don't know, two minutes. So what you want to do is try to grab this wine of Zamorak here, and it will hurt you. And you just keep grabbing it. It'll hit you for one each time. And uh, actually, we have the protect item prayer now, so let's slap that on, and then we will die and respawn over in Lumbridge with all of our stuff, because, oh shoot, <laughs> actually I lost my wines, but it doesn't really matter. I brought a glory, I'm not sure if it's super important, because I probably won't ever escape, but uh, yeah, you keep all your stuff as long as you're not an idiot like me and you lose 20 bronze arrows and uh, it makes it way faster to get back there and bank. Okay, there's the last of the Dragon Bones. We got up to 43 prayer. The Wilderness Altar is ridiculously powerful. 
Uh, I think I might actually just go buy the rest of the dragon bones we need for this level. I thought it was going to take a lot more, but it hasn't been that bad. Also, there's this huge fight going on <laughs> outside of the uh, altar, and it's great being level 8 combat and just not having to deal with it. So let's go waste some more money and get up to 45 prayer, and then we'll be done training prayer for the rest of this account. Just so many people PKing here trying to attack me. It's absolutely insane, and hopefully we get lucky with these so that we can sell some back to the GE because the hit to the cash stack is pretty hard. We only have about 30,000 gold left. Uh, well, actually, first off, I hope it's enough to get us the level. I'm sorry, this clip is dragging on so long. Please. Okay, we're good. I think this next one is the level right here. There we go. 45 prayer. We can now use Mystic Might. And uh, there we go. There is all of our ranged and mage boosting prayers, as well as all the protection prayers. <laughs> At level 8, we can use... Uh, Protection prayer is pretty sick, honestly. So walking over here, I'm kind of already feeling like this is going to be just the worst idea ever done by mankind. Uh, we're going to try and kill some lava dragons with the airstrike spell until we get it to uh, level 13 to use fire strike. That's because I wanted to just use airstrike and not because I forgot that fire strike does not unlock at level 9. <laughs> so let's go ahead. Try to safe spot some lava dragons. I'm not exactly sure how the safe spot here works, but I'm a little terrified of actually trying to go over there to the other safe spot because I can get one hit by these guys really easily, and I can't use anti dragon shields because I have not started Dragon Slayer. So let's see how this goes. Is it dead? Oh my gosh, it has like one HP left. Are you kidding me? Um, this has taken approximately forever, as you can see by the mind runes used in my inventory. There we go, our first lava dragon kill, and what are we going to get? Oh shit. That's pretty good, a rune two-hand sword. Uh, I think that kill was like almost 50k. You know, it's probably not safe to price check it here, but I will anyways. Um, yeah, we just made like 50,000 gold from that one kill, so... Before I started this clip, I was going to say something along the lines of, maybe I won't do lava dragons because it takes too long to kill them, but after that, I think I'm going to give them another chance. Maybe we'll come back with chaos rune spells. It looks like they'll probably do a lot more damage. All right, we just hit level 30 magic here. Uh, we are now using earth bolt. We need five more levels before you can use fire bolt, which is going to be like the best spell we use here. No way I'm buying death runes for this, but it's going a lot better with the, uh, the chaos rune spells. It's dying a lot faster, and although it's probably costing me a you know, five, six, seven, eight thousand gold per kill. The profits are a lot better, and uh, the magic levels are actually flying. Plus, we got a looting bag, so we can stay here longer and uh, get PK'd and lose more. We have been slaying these lava boys for so long, and finally, 35 magics. So we can use Firebolt and kill them a lot faster, at least I hope. So, I think I'm done killing lava dragons for now. I'm looking at, like, the GP per hour and how long we're spending here. And while it's nice to get some magic levels, we got to 37 magic. I just don't think the money is working out too well. Like, let's price check it. Looks like we got about 300,000 gold worth of stuff. It's like, it's not bad, but honestly, just turning flex into bowstring was better money per hour, so I'm just not sure it's worth continuing. Cash stack's looking sexy, though. 369k, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to train agility. There is level 10 agility, so we can finally move on to the Draenor course. Honestly, early level agility is so nice, getting a level every couple of laps, but it's going to get painful real soon. All right, Draenor course done, I think. Yeah, 20 agility, which means we can move on to the best one, the Alcarid course. <laughs> ah, yes, the classic hanging by my teeth maneuver. It's, it's a classic. Everybody knows how to do that, and it gets you 25 agility, which, you know, isn't too notable on its own, but it does mean that we can now do the Grand Tree quest for some free agility XP. I wasn't going to do this originally, but I've just realized that if I want to use ranged and mage armor, I'm going to also need defense levels, and I really don't know how slow leveling defense with range than magic is, so I think we're going to end up having to do the quest to get some melee experience to be able to use weapons to level our defense, so kind of sucks, but it is what it is, so let's go do Grand Tree. There we go, Grand Tree done. It was a lot easier with the uh, with Firebolt. That Black Demon was uh, pretty easy. And there we go, 18,000 attack XP, about 8,000 agility XP, and 2,000 magic XP. We got to 31 agility, 6 levels. Wow, glad we did that. And 33 attack from Nada. More combat XP, Fight Arena done, 12,000 attack XP. Where are we at now? 38. All right, come on, now we got to do Waterfall. We got to get some strength levels. It's lacking a little bit. A hey, Waterfall quest is done. 13,750 attack and strength XP, which knocks us up to 30 strength. And 41 attack. Great. I was hoping to be able to equip rune weapons. And now that we have that, we should uh, get some pretty easy defense training now. But there is actually a couple more quests that I want to knock out before that. If we
we go ahead and do Holy Grail, we'll get like, oh geez, what do you get from Holy Grail? I believe 15,000 defense XP, and now that I think about it, we didn't have to spend all that money on D-Bones because you also get 11,000 prayer XP from Holy Grail, but a eh, little bit of wasted time and money's not too big of a deal. There we go, Merlin's Crystal done. These quests are so insanely fast on a non-Iron Man account. Playing the Hardcore Iron Man, I forgot how fast you can, oh shoot, how fast you can go through quests. Uh, on a main account so just one more to go and then I think we'll be done questing for a little while so I just went to the Grand Exchange and bought a rune scimitar because we're about to kill the Black Knight Titan and in case you guys don't know it is very resistant to magic attacks and ranged attacks so you're gonna wanna bring a better melee weapon and you have to do just the last hit with Excalibur so all you need to do is equip Excalibur once his health starts to get low and finish him off with that but the rune scimitar is gonna make the fight a lot easier the holy grail is ours and we have finished the quest 11,000 prayer XP 15,000 defense Defense XP. What defense level is that going to bop us up to? Okay, we got 46 prayer and 31 defense. All right, we've just got to get nine defense levels, which hopefully won't be too bad. It's looking like that's about like 27 or 28,000. You know, my math's really bad. That's 29,000 XP, which shouldn't be too bad if I just sit at sand crabs for a couple of hours. But yeah, stats are looking pretty sexy so far, honestly. Sand crabs are beautiful as ever. This is how long we've been here, sand crabs, like just over an hour. And there we go, 40 defense. As you guys can see, this is a friggin' easy game, and that is the highest defense level we're going to need, as that is the level we need to equip all of the uh, dragon hide bodies. Except for green dragon hide body, we're not going to be able to do it, because hell no, I'm not doing dragon slayer, bro. So I was going to go start off our ranged training, and it turns out training at low levels with knives is probably the worst experience of my life. So we're going to go do horror from the deep for a quick boost to our range levels, and to do that, we got to do the Alfred Brimhand bar crawl. So uh, it's going to be a little bit of a grind but let's knock all this out real quick so we finished the bar crawl that thing was a pain in the ass but now that that's done we can do horror from the deep if we get a little agility level boost from a summer pie which is what i think i'm going to do but we're going to save that for tomorrow got some pretty insane progress for the day done here are the stats hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you tomorrow with the next edition of zoro from scratch thanks for watching guys goodbye